um, Rex Roark. He's the governor commit governor's commission for veterans affairs to come at this time, and then he has someone he wants to introduce to us. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is indeed a sad day for Little Rock. I've lived here down and around this city for the last 30 years. I never dreamed something like this could happen here. It always happened someplace else. But it's here now. We lost a bright young man with a complete future ahead of him. I can't find words to describe how I feel. But terrorism is here. It's not always somewhere else. It's here with us. We've got to learn to cope with it. this time that uh, Jim Porter, he's past post commander of the BFW post 10483, come and say a few words to us today. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming today. And young folks also, we appreciate you. We have got to change what we do in this country. We're having a memorial service for two very young, fine, young, young people that if one has given his life for his country in a disastrous, disgraceful manner. And we have a small but a very important group here today. But this parking lot should be jam-packed. Many of us have invited many people to attend today but very few of them have made the effort to come out. And until we do that, this is going to be a tough battle ahead of us to get the United States of America back to where it was, where, not where we were in <clears throat> World War II. I'm a Vietnam veteran. Viet Vietnam veterans were treated poorly compared to World War II veterans and even Korean veterans. But we must not allow the current soldiers, Marines, Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force receive the same 
poor treatment that, they, that we have done to some in the past. We must speak to our Congress people. We must talk to our president. And we must talk to our community and our people and say, we must turn this thing around. We should have a parking lot full of people crying. Let me say, please, keep our current military people and their families who fight a tough battle every day concerned about their husband, their wife, off in battle. Pray for them. Without prayer, this country has a tough battle. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for sending the letter. Okay, I'm going to ask Representative Ed Garner to come and, and give us uh, the last few words, and, and then I'll then the, we will be uh, basically finished with the rally. But I want him to bring up the tail end of it. I want to I want to thank all of you for being here today, and I agree uh, there should be more here today. But I I. I have to tell you, I, I struggle with what to say in a site like this. I, uh, I've attended uh, memorial services in cemeteries uh, where men have given their lives for this nation uh, and its freedom and to protect us. Uh, I, I have to tell you, I've never visited the site where a man has given his life and another uh, uh, person who puts on the uniform has been wounded and made the sacrifice on American soil. Uh, I, 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 I view this as a place where a, an event occurred that was an act of war. There are and have been people who who have declared war against this country and our way of life and men and women put on the uniform to protect our freedom as they always have uh, and I hope always will. Uh, I, I think it's a very poignant thing that that this has now occurred, a, a, a soldier has given his life in a battle, uh, ambushed uh, in a cowardly act by a terrorist who had declared war on the United States, and we need to bear that in mind, uh, because it is, it is something new. Um, so I share anger, and I share outrage, and, um, but today, we come here with those feelings, those emotions, mixed emotions, uh, and we must take that energy for today and, and direct the energy of that outrage to, to focus on supporting our troops and caring for the families of the, the men, one who died and one who's wounded, and pray for their recovery and let soldiers know that when they put on the uniform for our nation and our freedom that we support them. And I want to thank you. I want to thank you for being here to do that. And I know there are people who could not be here to do that, but will appreciate that you are here to do that and to represent them. Some of that energy I hope you will direct to resolve because we are a nation at war and our way of life is threatened. And you must resolve to, to be active in defense of that nation and in support of our fine troops. Thank you all for being here today. I want to thank you all for turning out.